Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. Now, let's take a brain break. For today's brain break in SEL technique, we will be showing you a little skit representing confrontational and conversation skills. I thought I told you to stop playing games on the iPad. You have a missing assignment to get done that's been due for weeks. Whatever, I don't care. Stop reminding me about this dumb assignment you know I'll never do. Ugh. Oh really? You know what? I'll give you the F, and I won't keep following you around to remind you about your dumb assignments. In this situation, the student lashes out at the teacher because of a simple statement. And the teacher responded with a negative, defensive comment which contributed to this intense, negative feeling. This is an example of what you shouldn't do when somebody confronts you about something. Instead, you should talk about your feelings towards the situation in the least disrespectful way. Because you can't fight fire with fire. Now let's try this again. Randy, I thought I told you to stop playing games on the iPad. You have a missing assignment to get done that's been due for weeks. Oh yeah, I'm sorry about that. Thanks for reminding me. I'll get right on that. Good, and tell me when you're done so I can put the grade in. Okay. As you can see, when Randy responded positively, the teacher also responded positively. When you say something negative to someone, they can get defensive and the conversation can get tense and awkward. So tune in next time for our next Brain Break and SEL Technique. See you later. Now, let's go to word of the day. Hey David, did you notice what happened in class today? Yeah, it was really ironic. The bell rang right when the test started. Yeah, but I was kind of glad because I didn't get enough time to study. But what does ironic mean? Well... Wait, no, I think I know what ironic means. Ironic means weird, strange, or unexpected, right? Yeah, it's ironic that you knew that. You really are getting better at this. Well, thanks to you. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the Day. day. Now let's go to Valencia for our Black History segment. Thank you, Bonnie. Hey, Patriots. Today we're here to talk about Martin Henry Freeman. Freeman was born in the year 1826. He was known as the first African American to be a certified professor at a college. Although in the late 1700s and early 1800s slavery was legal, he was born free. He wanted to become a teacher to give people an education. Over time, he even became the first black president of a college. On November 23, 2020, they made an amazing sculpture to honor his achievement and contributions. He's truly an inspiration to all. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Valencia. Sports fans, our boys basketball team played their fifth game last Thursday. Our Patriots played against Cooper City. We won with a score of 47 to 27, and the MVP of the game was Nick with 16 points. Keep it up, Patriots. You're doing great. Unfortunately, our girls' soccer team lost with a score of 9-0. to zero. However, I know deep down we can still come out on top. In other news, welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Today's edition is about the bowling ball. Bowling is a fun and popular sport that goes back to ancient times when Egyptians rolled stones at various objects with the goal of knocking them over. Bowling balls were first made from a durable wood called lignum vitae. Then later, they are made from a combination of urethane, plastic, and resin. The balls have a set of three holes drilled in them for grip. It is made of a hardened powder like calcium or iron oxide. The shape of the inside core affects how the ball rotates and how it rolls down the lane. Now let's go to Joshua for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is pizza dippers, 
marinara sauce, sunset sip juice, applesauce, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please let your teachers know if you will be receiving lots today. But not petite. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Joshua. It's time to show how we feel about black history. Today you can watch a video clip from the movie The Wiz, and tomorrow you can sing your favorite R&B song. I can't wait to hear all of the musical tunes. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Patriots, the book fair is here. Take a look at the schedule to see when you can go. I'm sure you will find a book to your liking. Sports fans, boys baseball and girls flag football tryouts are today. This is only for the 5th grade and up. The minimum requirements are a 2.0 GPA in your physical and permission package. The tryouts start at 345 and they take place in the gym. Good luck, I hope you make it. Also, today our girls soccer team and boys basketball team both have a game. The girls soccer team has a game against the Browser Mimonades and the boys basketball team has a game against RASG. Both games start at 4 p.m. Let's go Patriots! Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Peyton. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is a high of 80 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Today is a good time to play ball. In other weather news, cloud formations can be weird, but not as weird as the maddest clouds. The clouds look like giant lumps of white covering the sky. The clouds form when a cumulonimbus cloud or an anvil-shaped cloud is surrounded by unsteady and unpredictable air movement, which starts to reshape the cloud and make them a maddest cloud. Make sure you take a picture if you come across these clouds because they are one of the rarest. Now let's go to Destiny for today's Hot Topic. Thank you, Randy. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot Topic. I'm Destiny, and Chanel isn't here today, so I'll be doing it solo. Here's what's trending this week. The movie Uncharted was released on Friday, February 18th. Nathan Drake and his wisecracking partner, Victor Sully Sullivan, embark on a dangerous quest to find the greatest treasure in hoping of finding his lost brother. I sure do love action-packed movies. Ever since Valentine's Day passed, people are now interested in St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day celebrates a former legend in Ireland, St. Patrick. People wear green for good luck, but don't forget or you will get pinched. Everyone is going crazy for the Black History Show tomorrow. I bet it's going to be awesome dances, cool songs, and funny moments. I just know it's going to be awesome. Miss Hart's shows are always great. In the past week, the snow moon appeared on Wednesday, February 16th at 12 a.m. The snow moon happens at least once a month. This beautiful moon in February is a sign of love. It was definitely a great sight. That's it, Patriots. Thank you, Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Jordan Williams, Amir Smith, Sianse Algo Lincoln, Caden Redhead, Aston Pena, Santiago Botero, Tyrell Moore, and Makai Norris. And yesterday's birthdays were Malik Nicholas, Jeremiah Nicholas, Isabella Tejada, and Everson Bueno Roman. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Onley, Miss Sheriff, and Miss I'm Dengqua. You all had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, how many rides are at Disney World? The correct answer is 52. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What languages does Shakira speak? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV will like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!